Quitting smoking can be very complex, so we'll get right to the heart of the matter in this self-paced program by teaching you how to prepare for a quit attempt, set a quit date, and helping you stay quit, hopefully forever. The Stop Now, Quit Forever program teaches you how to prepare for the extreme challenge of quitting cigarettes. Learning how to prepare will increase your chances to stop smoking for good. In most stories of struggle, there's a villain. Yours is nicotine. It lurks inside your cigarette. Trying to break free of nicotine's grasp is not easy and there will most definitely be a price to pay for victory. Cravings and temptations will test your will. Nerves will be on edge. Anxiety levels may rise. And temporary weight gain could shake your self-esteem. Hope I didn't scare you. But remember, you're the hero. You can defeat the dark forces of nicotine. But today, since nicotine has been exposed for what it is, smoking is largely frowned upon. Smokers who light up in public get nasty looks, and schools are teaching kids that smokers are drug addicts. The negatives are many. Increasingly, smokers have to sneak around, search for places to smoke. Another major cause of relapse? Alcohol. Cigarettes and alcohol go together like hand in glove. And believe it or not, close behind alcohol as a cause of relapse, coffee, and just after meals. Another big cause of relapse, difficult situations we don't anticipate. These situations happen more often than we'd like, and they always make us want to reach for a smoke. Let's look at some fears about quitting and how to avoid them when you prepare. First, fear of failure. This is a big one when it comes to breaking your dependence on tobacco. Anytime we try something new, there's always a risk of failure. But if we don't even try, we've already failed. Take basketball as an example. If you don't take the shot, you won't make the shot. Want to lessen your fear of failure when quitting cigarettes? Prepare. That's what we do here at Stop Now, Quit Forever. You know, Allie, many people think that when you stop smoking, the cravings for a cigarette get worse and worse, that the physical addiction will never go away. Yes, but that's actually not true. One of the key ways to quitting smoking successfully, learn how to get through urges and cravings. You will have those feelings, count on it. So by training yourself to control urges before you quit, you'll stand a much better chance of avoiding future slip-ups. Fact is, urges decrease in intensity and frequency over time, and cravings get easier to handle. Many don't try a quit attempt because they think the time's not right. It'll be a seasonal thing. Summer's coming, you want to look good in your bathing suit, don't want to risk gaining a little extra weight. Maybe the holidays are just around the corner, or there's a graduation coming up. There's no such thing as the perfect time to quit. There will always be a reason to put off your quit attempt. Another real fear for many is gaining weight when giving up cigarettes. But remember, while some will experience minor weight gain when they quit, it's usually a relatively small amount, between 4 to 10 pounds. Of course, nobody wants to put on extra weight these days, but remember this, a little weight gain is better for you than continuing to smoke, no comparison. So the urges to reach for a cigarette will diminish. The things that trigger your desire to smoke lose their hold over you. Nicotine will lose its grip. As you start to move away from nicotine, put some safety mechanisms in place to help you reprogram your automatic response to reach for a cigarette. For example, Put something else where you kept your morning cigarettes. When you reach for a smoke, you'll find something else instead. This device will remind you of what you're trying to accomplish and reprogram automatic behavior before you're totally awake. It forces you to think differently. 